Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our Kiss Pro New York unboxings. So we're going to be unboxing our first two PR boxes from Kiss Pro New York as well as doing a fall inspired makeup tutorial and just giving my thoughts on the product. So if you guys want to see any of that, hear any of that, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Show your support, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. And don't forget to comment at the end of this video and let me know if you guys like the look that we'll be creating today, as well as have tried any of the products from these unboxings. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night scene. Starting off this video, I do just want to mention that I am not a certified or licensed makeup artist, esthetician, or anything like that. I am self-taught in every way and I continue to educate myself every day so I can educate you guys. That is what I'm all about here on this channel, educating, learning, and just having fun with makeup, skincare, and everything beauty. I am an ambassador with Kiss Pro New York. This means I do get monthly PR boxes. I am not an affiliate with them, so I do not have a referral link for you guys. But if you do want to purchase any of the products mentioned in today's video, they will be listed down below. This video is sponsored, but it's not being paid or endorsed in any other way besides free product to just share with you guys. If you're interested in any other disclaimers as well as timestamps, they will all be listed down below in the description box. As always, reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me because that is something I value hugely over here on my channel. So with that being said, let's get into our unboxing. As always, in all our monthly PR boxes, we get a card that just basically says thank you for supporting Kiss Pro New York. I absolutely love them and I just wanna say thank you to them for letting me be a part of their ambassador program because I love their products. And just like Ruby Kisses, they have been in my life for a while. But this is our personalized little card. First product we're going to be talking about, I actually already put on. I will have a clip of it in here somewhere for you guys. Um, this is the Kiss Pro New York Natural Finish Liquid Foundation. I believe there's another name for this. I can't remember exactly what the name is, but I will have it somewhere listed in here for you guys. Uh, but this is how it looks. This is in the shade 320. Now, my only downfall with Kiss Pro New York is that they don't have a huge range. They're not like super diverse in foundation shades. But again, I love all their products. Um, they work really good. I've never really tried a foundation from them, but I absolutely love this one. It really does have a natural finish. As you guys can see, I did set it down with powder, some bronzer. It works beautifully with powder and cream products. So that's amazing. And this is supposed to be a lightweight, full coverage product, and it really does that. I do have acne, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and scarring, and I feel like you really can't see any of that. I didn't have to layer it on. This is one layer. Because they don't have a huge range of shades, if you guys are like me, I am more olive toned. So for me, it's always hard to find my shade. But if you guys do have issues like that and can't afford a big name brand foundation where they have all the range of shades, you guys can go to your local drugstore or to Ulta Beauty and grab these. These are the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. You add some of this to your foundation to neutralize the color or add color and it definitely helps. Now this foundation was a little bit still too red for me, but like I said, I really don't mind it. Um, I, this is a foundation that I will still be using for all my makeup looks because I love the finish on it. It doesn't make my skin look very textured as some foundations can. And it really is a natural finish like I mentioned earlier. So I'm really enjoying this foundation. I would definitely advise you guys to check this out, especially if you just have more of like a yellow or red undertone. I feel like most drugstore brands in general usually go for those undertones so you should be able to find your shade in this if you are more like yellow based or uh, neutral or red based cool toned now the next product we're going to be getting into we're going to go into our brow products because as you guys see my brows are usually done and they're not done today because we got some products to use this is the fine precision brow pencil and this is the sculpting brow pencil 
So the sculpting one is actually really cool because it comes with like a gel fiber uh, kind of mascara wand thing at the end of it. Uh, so you could like really set and thicken up the brows. And then I'll be actually using this to just make the strokes in the front of the brow to make it look a little bit more natural. So let's get straight into that. The shades I received in the sculpting brow pencil, I got deep dark brown, which definitely is gonna be my color. And for the fine precision pencil, we got it in brown, which I typically don't go for browns, but if I'm gonna use it for like the front of my hairs, then it's something I will use. This is what the sculpting brow pencil looks like up close. You have your, I did use it once to try to test it out and swatch it a little bit. So it's not as sharp as it should be, but this is basically how it looks as like this triangular shape. So you can really just sculpt. And then on the other side, you have your little gel um, wand, which is really cute. I love that idea in a, a brow product. And then for the precision brow pencil, fine precision tip at the front and your spoolie at the back now let's go ahead and do these brows baby I'm taking the sculpting brow pencil first to sculpt my brows and then we're gonna finish off with the precision brow pencil Now, before I set it with the gel, I'm gonna go into the Precision Brow Pencil and do the little strokes at the front. So this is how one brow is looking so far compared to the one we haven't done. I absolutely love the pigment. It gives a really nice natural finish. And I'm just gonna go ahead and darken, go back into the Sculpting Brow and darken up here a little bit. Now we can set our brows with the fiber brow gel. You guys are gonna see how this darkens it a little bit, which is something I personally love because I do like my brows pretty dark, mainly because I already have dark hair, but I do like my brows pretty dark. <laughs> And so there we go. That's one brow. Do you guys see the difference? And honestly, I like this pencil because you really don't need to clean up too much unless you're just a messy person or a person who just tries to work fast and messes up a little bit. It happens. It happens. But I really like this because you don't need to actually clean it up too much um, if you're really taking your time with it. And it's still pretty fast if you're doing it the way I do it with the sculpting brow and the brow precision pencil. I'm going to go ahead and do this brow off camera and then we're going to get into our next product. We're going to get into the next few products that we're not going to be using for this look and then we'll jump into our makeup tutorial and jump into the rest of the products that we will be using for this look. This is the tea tree spot cream with salicylic acid and Sika. It's made to lessen the appearance of spots. And I'm actually really excited for this because I believe this is a new launch. Now, when I was with Ruby Kisses Cosmetics, they actually sent me the full line of Kiss Pro New York products, which at the time was just the two-in-one clay mask. It was an exfoliating mask and a dry down clay mask. Then there was also the pimple patches as well as the tea tree oil control mattifying moisturizer. Now, again, I believe this is a new launch, which I'm really excited for. I'm really excited to try because again, I am blemish prone. I deal with hormonal cystic acne, as well as blackheads, the occasional whiteheads. It's just, it's a hot mess under here sometimes. So this is made to be lightweight. It has a matte finish. It absorbs quickly and it's non-sticky. It's supposed to lessen the appearance of redness, bumpiness, and spots. Now the next product we're gonna be jumping into are these little babies right here. And these are the Kiss Pro New York Quick Dry Nail Polishes, which I'm super excited for because I want to do some nail tutorials and stuff like that. I've done a few of them here on my channel, not as many as I'd like to because we've been so like PR based 
um, unboxing based, which I really don't mind. But once in a while, I will try to have some nail tutorials. I actually did buy one of these in my We Essential hauls, not the ones in these boxes, but just a separate one in another color called Rathberry. It's such a beautiful shade. And I love the packaging on these. I mean, just look at them. The gold handle. The brush is really nice too, and the colors are super pigmented. I did swatch these as an Instagram reel, which got deleted, unfortunately, but it's okay. We're not going to be doing swatches on these today, but I might have another uh, thing for that over on Instagram. So if you want to see that, follow me there at Midnight Moon Makeup. If you guys didn't see that We Essentials haul, We Essentials is also the like main brand that has all of the Kiss Pro New York, Kiss Products, I Envy by Kiss, Ruby Kisses Cosmetics. All their little brother and sister brands are under we essentials they have now switched from being we essentials to being ivy beauty so you can purchase <laughs> no i saw your butt right and queenie came over here to get you so they are officially now called ivy beauty but if you guys do want to see that haul then just click the card on top right here somewhere and for the nail polishes we got, we got these shades. I like to Mauve it. Purple Mystery. Ready, set, red. And Skin Ship. I can't wait to use these colors. I'm so excited. Give it up for the packaging here next few products we're getting into and these are the last two before we get into our tutorial because everything else we can use for our look these are newly launched i do know that and these are the 24k natural oil lip gloss so these are kind of like hybrid products there are oil and a gloss all in one so the two that they have newly launched are the 24k gold and the 24k rose gold so they're basically the same thing it's just one has more of that rose gold color, which is more of like a pinky gold. And then the 24K gold is just your natural gold in a clear gloss. We're not gonna be using these today because I do have another lip product in here that we will be using. And I really wanna use it for this look. Like I'm so excited for it. It's so pigmented and so pretty and gorgeous. You guys, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. So now let's jump into our makeup tutorial. For the palette today, we're jumping into the Real Her Dreams So Big Eyeshadow Palette. Tonight. And I decided to go fall today because we're hopping into fall. Off camera, I'm just going to set my eyeshadow base. I'm going to use a concealer for that. And I'm going to clean up my brows a little bit. Not the top because the top looks good, but just at the bottom. Just to make it a little more sharp and look defined. For that, we're gonna use the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in shade 845 Warm Beige. Jumping straight into our look, now that our base is set, we're gonna take this first shade called Imagine and we're gonna use that for our crease shade. We're taking the same shade on the same brush and just blending it up and outwards a little bit to get a really smooth edge so that way when we lay the next shade down everything blends very smooth now we're going to step into the shade inspire and we're going to use that to blend out and soften up the top of the brow bone basically right above where we put the imagine shade Now we're going to take the shade Desire and we're going to use that right along our brow bone to soften up the look just a little bit more. I went ahead and cut my crease off camera so we can lay down our next few shades. The next shade we're jumping into with a new brush is the shade Envision. We're gonna lay that starting from the inner corner right to the middle of the eye. Now we're gonna hop into the shade Aspiration 
and we're gonna use that basically where our concealer is still showing. Now taking the first brush we used, we're gonna go back into Imagine and just deepen the outer V. I do wanna deepen the outer V up a little bit more, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade and power. We did get a little bit of fallout, so I'm just gonna take the powder brush I was using and just lightly swipe it away. Before we get into the inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edges a little bit with some concealer and we'll be right back. Now for the last shade we're jumping into, that's gonna be Dream. And again, that's for the inner corner highlight. Now, before I go ahead and do my eyeliner and a few other things off camera, we're gonna jump into this bad boy. This is the Kiss New York Long and Define Waterproof Mascara. This is how it looks. And here is your beautiful wand. It has kind of like a dome shape on one side and a flat end. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then get straight into the application. So this is how one side looks with the lengthening and defining mascara. It definitely gave like falsy effect lashes, which I'm really enjoying. I do have long lashes already, so just note that guys, but I'm liking it. It does get a tiny, tiny bit clumpy, uh, but if you have one of those like eyelash combs, that should also help. But yes, I like it. I will be using it more. Now we're jumping into our next eye product, which are for the, which is something I personally like to use for the waterline. You can use it for wind liner. These are the Intense Gel Eyeliners. They sent two shades, one in black brown and one in dark brown. I think we're gonna go with the black brown today for this look. And this is how they look. This actually has a sharpener at the end of it. This is the gel eyeliner. And again, you have your sharpener for when you wanna do your winged liner and you need it nice and sharp, or you just like a sharp pencil, and then you have your actual pencil side. That's how it looks, that's the difference. I feel I added a little bit of smokiness to the eye. Since I am doing more of a natural look, we're not gonna use lashes today also because I did wanna show you the mascara and I usually add mascara after I add lashes because now they're kind of like too lifted and curly. But I still, I love this. Very natural look if you're into natural looks. Somewhat natural, we went full coverage and whole face of makeup, but this is the fall glam look. We're gonna get into the next few products two products left the first one is this baby and i'm excited about this one because i've been seeing this all over their instagram this is the pro touch glow and bronze powder for face and body i love how big it is but yet still compact enough to take with you on the go this is in the shade deep this is how it looks just look at that shine that is gorgeous this is what we're going to use for highlight today so I'm grabbing my fan brush and getting right into it. That's pretty. I do feel like it can, it may be a little dark for my skin. Like I could go with a lighter shade, but as long as I don't overdo it, Just a touch on the brow bone. If you do want to lighten it up, say you went a little bit too crazy, you could just take your powder brush 
and sweep it over a little bit. Now we're getting into our last product in the box. It's this baby and I'm so excited to show you guys this because this is the Glam Shine Lip Gloss. Now guys, this is so freaking pigmented. Like you can build it up, you can make it sheer, but it's definitely buildable. Like if you put a lot on, you'll see the pigment. If you decide to put a little bit on, you just wanna spread it on, like not just use the applicator and go straight in because it definitely is pigmented. But I love the wand on this. It's a flat wand. And this is the color Gold Spot. Now I'm excited, excited. So let's go ahead and do our liner. For liner, I'm gonna use the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Lip Liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then I'm gonna blend that color out like towards the inner lip to make it just a little bit more pigmented on the outside, a little bit more faded on the inside. And we're gonna add the gloss to finish. And topping off with our gloss. I mean, just look at how pretty that is. I don't wanna make it too pigmented cause then it's not gonna go with this look, but basically we're just gonna go really light. And then this is the final look. I set my face real quick, which I forgot to do with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. Did you try this look out? Mm, I love it. You guys can purchase these products down in the description box below. If you are interested in them, I honestly would tell you, go ahead and get them. Like, I mean, look at this foundation. It still looks very natural over all the products we did, even the concealer that we used around the eye area like i'm i'm obsessed again not a huge range of shades in foundation want to try it out try it out see how you like it if you need the pigments go get the la girl pro color mixing pigments they do have other shades um the blue will help neutralize any redness the yellow will help you make make you look a little bit more golden um, or yellow toned um, I believe they do have a orange and the, I do also have a white if you want to lower the tone I don't have the orange one but um, I think they have other shades available uh, I'm not exactly sure with that being said definitely guys check out this foundation I really like it it's not a problem for me to go ahead and mix my foundation with some mixing pigments I personally know how to use them now so for me it's not really a big deal it doesn't take that much time there was a lot of stuff in these last two boxes that i really enjoyed so i really don't think i have like one favorite i have like a ton of favorites the nail polishes are absolutely stunning they're gorgeous i cannot wait to use them the oil glosses perfect for when i go out and i don't wear a lot of makeup and i just want a little bit of shine on my lips add a little bit of nourishment with the oils the glow bronzer is oh stunning 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 i love it the lip gloss y'all know how i feel about that already i just i love it i love it super pigmented you can build it up absolutely amazing so literally really not any downfalls like i said the only problem that i would have is with the shade range for the foundation but again mixing pigments are not a big deal for me they may be for you because i know a lot of people don't like doing as much work so do just note that if you do have an olive undertone like me but if it's not a big problem get the mixing pigments they'll be a lifesaver especially if you're not into going into sephora or ulta and getting the shade match or even if you do sometimes they give you the wrong shade match i don't i don't i don't get why don't ask me um <laughs> i've got went to sephora and they told me i had a cool undertone which i didn't because every time i tried a red foundation or foundation with red undertone it was just way too red for me um so yeah guys the brows yes again i do have very textured skin so i'm really surprised in how this foundation worked that's why i'm like you know the mixing pigments aren't really a big deal for me as long as my skin looks good as long as it looks good of course we're still gonna see some texture because we're human um makeup is gonna show texture regardless you can use primers and all that good stuff and that will definitely help but it's not going to be 100% foolproof. Like, we're, we're not photoshopped in real life. I hope you guys all loved this look. I hope you guys loved all the products. Let me know some of your favorites down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products yet. And if not, 
will you be purchasing them check out ivy beauty's website where you can get all these products on there and more or you can look in the description as well to just see what products you want specifically from this video the time has come to an ending if you're not a part of my galaxy glam squad yet then please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos show your support if you enjoyed the video give it a huge thumbs up and share it with friends i'll see you guys back here next thursday as always and as always y'all keep shining beautifully and being beautifully awesome i'll see you guys later bye